So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. So do you wish to work with companies like Cred, Upgrad, Urban Company, Razorpay, but you are not able to apply because of your lack of experience and of lack of opportunities? So here's a solution to this problem. Relable by Unacademy is a hiring platform that helps freshers and experienced people to get jobs in India's top companies. All you need is skills. So what you need to do is you just need to give the relevant test that is completely based on your skills. Depending on your performance, your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired from the relevant platform. And the best thing about this is it's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem. Find maximum depth of any given binary tree. So for this binary tree, what's the maximum depth? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can say the maximum depth or height of this binary tree is nothing but 4. So we got to figure that out. So in order to do that, what we uh, what is the traversal that we can use? We can either use uh, the recursive traversal or else we can use uh, the level order traversal which uh, doesn't require any recursion. Now, What's the disadvantage of using that? We have to use a queue data structure, which at the worst case might end up taking a space complexity of B of N. The recursive uh, doesn't use any space complexity, but it does use uh, the auxiliary space, right? And the auxiliary space can go up uh, to as high as B of height of the binary tree. Again, uh, the recursive and the level order might end up taking a like, similar kind of uh, space complexity if you consider the worst case like for this level order the worst case will be when you're given a complete binary tree right when the last level is completely filled then this level order will end up taking b go of uh, like n near about space because the last level is gonna have a lot of nodes but uh, if you talk about the recursive solution then you whenever you're given a skew tree this is what you call a skew tree a linear tree Whenever you are given a linear tree, the recursive traversal will end up taking a stack space as uh, equal to the number of nodes. So both have both have their uh, worst cases. You can use any of the traversal uh, in order to compute the maximum depth. You can use the recursive or you can use the level order traversals. Generally, people uh, tend to use the recursive traversal because uh, generally in binary tree, trees are not skew, rather trees end up having a very very small height of log n in almost all the cases that is the that is the reason we use recursive but again you can use any of them as i said both of them have their own worst cases so if i think of a logical answer can i say if i'm standing at any given node and the answer will be one plus maximum height of this left side and the maximum height of the right side like whichever is having the maximum height, uh, can I say a one plus because one for the current node and the maximum on left or the maximum on the right uh, can give me the answer. Like logically, this should be the answer, isn't it? So why can't we uh, use a recurrence and try to figure out like for the left tree, for the right tree every time? Let's see. So initially we start at the root of the tree. Now we do not know the left height or neither do we know the right height. So what we will do is, at first we will move to the left and then we will move to the right. But at first we will move to the left, okay. So when you move to the left, this guy doesn't have a left. So 1 plus max of left will be 0 for this guy, max. Because for this 2, if I write 1 plus max of left will be 0, comma, what's the right? Again 0. So can I say for this 2 guy, the height is indeed, like if you are standing over here, the height is indeed, 1 plus max of 0 on left or 0 on right, that's 1. So can I say this guy got me a height of 1? Perfect. Now, I came across with a height 1 from this side. Now, I'm on the right side. So I come across 3 and I know the answer will be 1 plus max of left and max of right. So we again go to the left and we again go to the right. Okay. Now, when we come across over here, I know one thing. For 4, the answer will be 1 of max plus left max plus uh, right. So again, we go to the left. So on left for five, we know the answer will be one plus max of left, that's zero, comma right, that's zero. So we can say it's gonna be one for this five, perfect. So whenever you're standing at four, 
you actually said 1 plus max of left. What did left give you? 1. What did, what will right give you? 0. So can I say for this 4, the answer came out to be 1 plus max of 1 comma 0. That's 1 plus 1, 2. So for this 4, I ended up getting a height of 2. Now, when I'll come to 6, when I'll come to 6, for 6, the answer will be 1 plus max of, for 6, the left will be 0, the right will be 0. So can I say for 6, the answer will be 1. Perfect. Now, when I'm at 3, can I say for 3, the answer will be 1 plus max of, now the left has been computed, that's 2, and the right has been computed, that's 1. That's one. So can I say 1 plus max of this, that's 1 plus 2, 3. So can I say from the left, I got a 3. From, from the right, I got a 3. From the left, I got a 1. So for this guy 1, can I say the answer will be 1 plus, the left guy came out to be 1, the right guy came out to be 3. Hence, the answer is 1 plus 3, that's 4. So ultimately, using this simple recurrence of 1 plus max of left comma right, I was able to figure out the maximum depth of any given binary tree. And that's how you do it. So if you carefully observe this, uh, we're actually traversing all the nodes, right? So this is, we cannot, we cannot improve this because we have to find out the maximum depth. So you have to ultimately go through all the nodes that, that cannot be avoided. The C++ code can be found on the left. The Java code can be found on the right. So as you can see, I'm given a root and you know, whenever the root is null, I'm going to return a zero or else I figure out the left height by going to the root left. I figure out the right height by going to the root right. And once I figure that out, what I'll do is one plus max of left height and right height. Simple as that. It's a simple recurrence that I've already shown you via dry run. What's the time complexity of this? Again, uh, you, you have to travel all the nodes. So you, you cannot reduce that anything lesser than big of n. And the space complexity at the worst case, if it's a skew tree, it'll go on till big of n for this kind of traversals. And you, you cannot do better than this. So that's, that's what the time complexity and space complexity will be for this solution. So I hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay.